good night. So I'm currently here in the kitchen and I am cooking. And this is another painting about the whole girls in clouds. But I got so obsessed with the colorful, bright... Oh, my, sorry about that. Um, the colorful, bright, beautiful clouds. And um, I just want to do more of it. Also, I have a bunch of tape wrapped onto a pipe. Um, the rain cloud did that actually, mommy. And so, like, I don't want it to go to waste. And I'm just taking it off and reusing it. Now, paint. I'm usually not the one to, I like, I try my best not to waste a lot of paint because it is a bit more difficult for me to just go out and buy more. The, my favorite paint, the acrylic paints that I love so much that are very pigmented, really lovely, they are selling all the way in Georgetown and like if you're going this and you're saying, oh Georgetown is not far, well to be honest I'm not living that far from it, but it's just that I'm going to need to take a bath get dressed, put on proper clothes, come out my house, catch a bus, go to town. I mean, I could take a car, then that takes me to the salad and take a boat over and walk to the place. Or I could just wait for the fram, take the bus, go into town. You know, it's like one straight drive. And walk to the store because I still gotta walk to the store. The store isn't that far from where I am stopped off. It's pretty much like one street beeline. Anyway, go there and get the paint and then come back home. And of course I wouldn't want to go there just for paint. They also sell canvas. They sell their canvas super cheap, which is like really amazing. And um, yeah, oh by the way, if you guys want any of these painting on a canvas, I am more than happy to paint it for you or if you want your face on the canvas. I mean, I can't guarantee you that it's going to look amazing, but then again, I'm also not going to be charging an expensive amount. I will probably only charge for the canvas or the canvas plus $100 extra, maybe passage to where I have to deliver it to, but um, I don't really want to charge a lot for it. To be honest, I don't know why I don't want to charge a lot for it. Anywho, um, I'm currently frying potato chips. And I am in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. I have to cut them up. Also, if you hear my voice, go away. Oh, Jesus. Christ. So, I'll tell you about this little joke that happens. If this thing flies, it flies! <laughs> Never mind. There was a flying cockroach in the house. Yeah, so I ran out. I, I hate cockroaches. I hate grasshoppers. So um, I ran from the kitchen because there was a flying cockroach in the kitchen. Apparently he flew out the window. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so I ran into the hallway and there is a flying grasshopper in the hallway. It's, I'm, I'm afraid of this stuff. I'm afraid to death with these stuff. Now, of course, you're not here to talk about flying cockroaches and flying grasshopper. Um, this morning, though, I was washing up the dishes and I grabbed one of the pots in Guyana. Um, it's a kahari. So I grabbed the kahari and I was about to go wash it when I felt something wriggled and it was a cockroach. It was a cockroach. I hate cockroaches. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them so much. I don't like them. <clears throat> so, um, now there's a flying one too. Apparently I got angry because I killed per maybe its sibling this morning. Mm, who knows. Anyway, uh, back to the painting. So, here, cutting up potatoes and I am a weird human. I am so weird that I put fried rice seasoning in my potato or sometimes chicken seasoning or all-purpose seasoning instead of salt. I would put some sort of seasoning. Want to say hi? No? No. And, um, why? You're afraid there, no one's going to like your voice? <laughs> say hi. No? Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope I don't cut my fingers. 
or the Rue de Ho. Now back to talking about the painting. I've mentioned this before, it is very easy to paint the cloud. However, there are two ways in which you could hello. You do not give Todd that. Why? Todd doesn't eat raw stuff. Why? Todd doesn't like raw stuff. Oh, you know. I know, sir. <laughs> no. So, um, the rain cloud just took potatoes, the raw potato for the turtle, and it fell out of his hand. Um,. Now seasoning the potatoes to put them in to fry and I am still supposed to be talking about the painting. So one of the things that you can do is start from the white, come down to the light purple, down to the dark purple. That would actually be easier to do. Go on, laugh. It's okay, you can laugh. Yeah, you can laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And um, back to the purple. Or you can start from the dark purple, make your way up to the light purple, and then to the white. However, I feel it would be easier to start light, start from the white, or start from the light purple, and then make your way down to the darker purple. That would be a lot easier. So you can start either with the light purple or the white, and make your way down to the dark purple. So. You have your shape of your cloud, and uh, at the very top of your cloud, where those curves are, you're going to put your white down, you're going to just like spread it out. Um, if you have a thicker white, that would be much better, instead of watering it down too much. Todd is looking at me like I'm crazy, when you just had him down there. So I have this little Satan creature that crawled its way up from hell that is currently in the kitchen and he's so close to next he's so close next to me. I mean there's something called social distancing. Maybe we should put distance between us. Like three feet. He plugged his ears back up. Um so I was telling you about the painting and now the black sky. Using the acrylic paint, which is like really dark. By the way, there's something that I did. I painted on glass. I really, really wish I could have made a video showing you that. I could make a video showing you that, but the amount of paint that I used just to paint this little sucker and the amount of time it took just to paint it, it wasn't really worth it, to be honest. You know what? It was worth it. It looks really, really cute, but uh, I still don't know what I'm doing. So maybe I will make a video with me painting on glass, but it was really, really hard to do. And um, I noticed that the watercolor that I used was... um. Well, I can't use the watercolor. I'm supposed to only use the acrylic. But most of my paint are watercolors, or there's a watered down acrylic, they're not the original acrylic, they're the very cheap acrylic paint. So it's like really, really hard to, you know, let go of the quality stuff and use them. But I will have to, just for a video. I will take the Artist Loft acrylic paints out and I will use them. You know what, I have oil paint and I now am the owner of paint thinners. But a uh, fun fact, I haven't used oil paint since 2012 to paint anything. I yeah, I haven't used oil paint to paint any sort of artwork since 2012. Since then, I've been using watercolor, water paint, markers, draw with pencil, draw with charcoal. I've done all of that, but I haven't painted with oil paint in a very, very long time. And I was supposed to show you a painting that uh, my sister did in oil paint. By the way, my sister is really, really good with oil paint. She um, did this amazing dragon back when we used to live at our old house. And it was so beautiful. It was this big green dragon on the wall. She painted every scale, painstakingly painted every scale. And um, it was just so pretty. And then she painted a tiger. And she was gonna do it again in this house, but I guess she ran out of paint, I can't remember. And so she didn't finish the guy out. He's still there. And then there was a, there was this DVD case with this woman with her nails on her back. 
And I just realized that I am blabbering and I'm not even looking at my phone screen to know whether this video is coming to an end or it's not. Um, videos on its way to an end. Anyway, this is the video that I used. They, um... The no barters with and as you can see it works completely fine no barters but I guess the next thing that I should try is using only pink for the cloud can I make each cloud its own like stand out with using only pink that will be the next challenge to do however looking at it um, I erased the sides then I decided I want to put stars inside using the correction pen that is called a white out here I added in some uh, stars to it and sorry if you hear my phone just rest on the counter I'm holding my phone in the kitchen right now with nothing better to do but I am frying chips that is something better I am also out of the milkshake that I love to drink I have started making this three spoon milk two spoon Milo one spoon coffee half spoon sugar and blend it up I also um, added banana one time into it and that was wonderful Oh, by the way, that amount of ingredient is for one cup of water. So I guess you're going to have to double it if you're making two cups. And um, I'll show you guys the cup that I'm drinking in. I think you see it sometime on the channel. Anyway, I decided that uh, bartering the artwork with the whiteout would have been a really good idea. And it's coming down to the end of the video. I would just like to say it sucks using the whiteout. My hand was hurting, my wrist started to hurt because you've got to push down on it and press to use the whiteout. And you notice I'm saying whiteout in our correction pen, yes. It really hurt my wrist a lot to use it. Now, uh, coming to the end of this video, hope you guys enjoyed. If so, do leave us a like. And you know what, leave a comment down below on what you want me to try next. Goodbye, take care, and maybe give us a subscribe. Do come again. Bye.